everyone, Lucy here from Hunting for George and today I am in Spring Mountain, Arizona and I have a desert oasis to take you through. Believe me when I say, this home is unlike any other you have ever seen. Let's check it out. So this home sits on a lake which was designed specifically for water skiing and the reason this house exists is because the owners are obsessed with water skiing and that is their passion and that's what it's all about. So this entryway, the fact is that you can come through that gate and the first thing that you see is the lake. Oh. I wish I could convey temperature to you because it is so cool in this home. It is like we have just stepped into this cave, especially helped by some of the materials. We've got this really strong, cold concrete and on the floor as well. The view in this home is sensational. It literally exists everywhere you turn, but the kitchen very much acts as a viewing platform. So it's a very heart of the home, but functional space. I really like the addition of the walnut timber. It helps to warm up some of the tones. And I wanna show off a few key features. When I said functional space, you've got this dual sink, you've got a lot of storage, and you've also got integrated appliances. So you've got your drinks fridge here, very necessary, might I add in the middle of the desert. You've got your wine fridge, and also through here, additional storage. More hidden pantry spaces. I really like that steel detail. You're gonna see a bit more of that steel as we move throughout the home. The dining room flows off the kitchen. This is a custom timber table, beautifully made, and again, it has steel legs, so it's very heavy, it's very robust. Again, with this concrete and that beautiful pop of orange, which actually reflects the sunset that they get over these mountains. But come through, please. The main bedroom of the home with an exceptional view over the lake. And what I really like as well, this sliding door for privacy. And that was actually recessed in here. So it's actually hidden from the other side. So a nice detail there with that concrete. We can walk around here, there's more storage behind this bed, but we've also got a little private courtyard just for this main bedroom. I was chatting with the owners and they said that this space is great for when they have guests that might be enjoying that outdoor space. So it's still very private. They can have their outdoor shower and enjoy that privacy and it's very generous in scale. We come through into this shower comes steam room. This house is fun, so much fun. We've got a bathroom and a very generous walk-in robe, not to mention we've also got a laundry here as well with the washer dryer. This home was designed very much to have an indoor, outdoor feeling to it. They very much wanted to be outdoors a lot of the time. And they have created this second area here. So you've actually got dual water frontage. This is an 88 feet pool, which is about just over 25 meters. So you can do some good laps out here. And the reason this is at the front of the property is because it's actually quite protected. You've got this fencing, which actually prevents dust storms from a lot of those big 
windstorms that come through the desert. At any other time of year, you can leave the doors open, but it is the depths of summer, so we are very much gonna close the doors. And in fact, I'm hot, very hot, and not in a good way, so we're going back inside. So this side of the house is reserved for a little bit more work and play, but also for guests. We have the bunk beds through to the right. Again, that steel deal detailing in the bunk beds and as well in this custom desk, so a great office space. The steel continues as well through the door jams and they enter you into each room, which one this is dedicated for meditation and yoga. So basically, this speaks to my heart. So another bathroom for the guests and also for this end of the house if you're working. And more space for a washer dryer. So excess laundry space or just for the guests. That's the owners now. Hopefully we'll catch them on their next lap. Our boat house. So this was the first thing to exist on this lot and the owners actually lived here for two years before they actually got the house of their dreams. Look at this place. I mean usually there's a boat here but it's actually out on the water. So a great use of space. We've got a sink. It's basically a whole kitchen out here. Very good size. A lot of storage. We have got bunk beds in here. This is actually where the owners were sleeping when the house wasn't yet built. And here come the owners now. Woo! I said it was unlike any other. That was epic. <laughs> so there are actually only 22 lots on this lake. So very exclusive. And these guys were the first ones to actually be here and they are the most established house on this land. So they basically have all of this to themselves. It continues here as we come underneath undercover and automatically as soon as you're out of that sun and in the shade, the temperature just drops. Drink is needed <laughs> after that. referred to as the ski ranch and obviously you've just seen why. It was designed by Kevin Costello of the Ranch Mine and he is very accustomed to designing beautiful homes in dramatic desert locations such as this but even he admits this was quite a dream project and client to work with. DC and Liz are the owners and they were very involved in the creative process and they had a very clear vision of what they wanted from this home. And it really was designed out of their passion for water skiing and also just an outdoor lifestyle in general. And they really use this home as an escape, especially in the spring and fall seasons. 
DC is an experienced designer and that flowed through with that collaboration with Cavan. And you can really see that this home is an experience, right from when you walk through that front gate and the lake and the house just slowly reveal themselves to opening those robust steel pivot doors and into this floor to ceiling windowed interior, which is very open. It's very exposed, but it has this cave-like sensibility because it is just so cool in here. It's very much a hideout from that desert sun. This house was Bauhaus inspired, but they did want it to have an approachable modern take on it. It's very linear in its design and its geometric forms, and that really does reflect the nature of the ski lake itself. The materials are simple and industrial, concrete, steel, splashes of timber help to warm up that interior. To be honest with you, it's very paired back in here because the hero of this home is out there. There's a distinctive design feature in this home as well and that everything is divisible by eight. 8, 16, 32, and that was very strategic in its design. 8 represents infinity, and that again reflects that kind of never-ending turns of the lakes and the water skiing. But it also is a really strong principle within design itself. This home is basically off-grid, so it runs off a well for the water, septic for sewer, and then solar for all of their power needs. What's unique about this home for me is that we are in such a harsh, climate and it is quite a harsh stripped back exterior but it's on its entry even through that front gate that you just feel instantly comfortable and at ease and it really is because of the owners and how they're actually using this space it feels alive which is often very hard to do when you are using a lot of these really strong robust materials but it just has this kind of beat and this energy to it I really like that main bedroom and how that has its own private wing. The way that door opens up, but it's hidden and concealed from this main living area. It's smart details like that that have been done throughout the home, especially with the storage in the kitchen. They've tried to maximize and amplify every amount of space that they have because they don't have a lot. It's quite simple, but everything that does exist serves a purpose. The kitchen where I am now is probably my favourite part of the home. It is the heart of the home, but that view is sensational. But I also like the feeling of being flanked by these two very heavy concrete walls. There's something about it, I think it adds to that cave-like nature I was talking to, but it's still very warm and friendly. And I also really love that private front area with the pool. Whilst it's not windy now, I can tell that when the wind comes up, that would be quite a protected space. So I think it's fantastic that they do have the best of both worlds and that they do have this dual water aspect to enjoy. So I said this home was unique and it's because it was specifically designed for these owners and for creating the lifestyle that they enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way.